Hey guys, this is Tony from Red Bear Podcast. Uh, I have the privilege of hanging out with uh, William Zavka from uh, The Karate Kid. Uh, you guys might know him from a lot of other stuff. Uh, but honestly, um, I just wanted to, to ask you a couple questions, man. Uh, how are you liking Rhode Island so far, though? Rhode Island? I love Rhode Island. It's great. Great people, great food, great uh, city. And it's, it's like fall. Like, it's great because I'm in L.A., so yeah. you know, I see some colorful trees. is nice. I like the cold air. Yeah. Right now it's 90 in my house in L.A., all right. so this is good. You know, it wakes you up. All right. The people are all right. <laughs> and have you, uh, have you found that uh, we have a very thick accent? No, I don't think so. I'm from New York originally, so oh, right, right. I, yeah, it's right. like I can't hear it if you do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. So uh, I just wanted to ask you. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you get this a lot, but I'm just very curious. Being a big fan of the movie, uh, you know, The Karate Kid. What was it like working on that movie? I mean, did you have to do a lot of training for that, or? <laughs> yeah, man. I trained. I didn't know any karate. I was trained uh, every day, five days a week for three months before we filmed the final fight. I was a wrestler, so I knew. Uh, you know, it's kind of limber, but it was a. Uh, three months of training every day. I didn't think I had a chance of getting the part, to be honest, when I, you know, yeah. I wasn't a karate black belt at all. I, I filmed that being a white belt. Gotcha. So, yeah, it was a blast. I was, you know, I was 18, out of high school. It was a good excuse not to go to college for a minute. Yeah. You know, make a movie. <laughs> had a blast. If nobody ever saw it, it would be the most fun I ever had. You know, right. the fact that it turned into a classic film is just crazy, you know. And I, you know, growing up watching that movie, I, I hated you in that movie, so you definitely nailed it, man. <laughs> you yeah, killed yeah. it, so. And now in hindsight, you realize that he was a misunderstood hero, I'm hoping. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. He wasn't a bad guy. He really was. <laughs> you had a question, though, about that. I did have a question. This is one thing I always wanted. I want to know how you felt about it. So at the very end, you have wanted to kick this, you know, LaRusso's ass the entire movie, right? Just want to kill him. And then he, he takes you out that last moment. But then, like, three seconds later, you hand him the trophy, and you're like, you're, like, you're all right, LaRusso. Like, yeah. do you feel like that, as the character, that would have happened that quickly because you've just been so pissed with him the whole time? Or it just seemed like a very quick flip, you know? Well, yeah, but, you know, the whole, like, you know, we saw, like, all of a sudden Sensei's telling him to sweep the leg. He gets injured. Johnny's starting to question his, uh, his teacher. And then in the middle of the fight, he tells him to go out and re-injure his leg. And there's that moment where he's, you know, kind of a little doubtful. But then he's programmed to go out and kill, and he goes out, and really the the kick set him free at the end. It kind of woke him up. It's like you know, sometimes you need your uh, your ass handed to you to wake you up and smell the coffee, you know. <laughs> right, 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 so he right. turned up, and uh, you know, I think it was. Uh, I think he would have probably felt that way at the end. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think the next day he probably wouldn't have felt like that. <laughs> right, but right. in that delirious moment when he still got birds flying around his head, yeah, he might have yeah. done that. I like adrenaline's all kicked in, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Next day in hindsight, he might have thought, wait, that's not legal. How did that happen? <laughs> yeah, right, contest right. it, whatever. Yeah. Right. And you were in uh, Just One of the Guys, too, which is another one. What was it like working on that Craig. one? Craig Tolan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that was a, it was a fun. A fun bunch of people. Yeah, that's yeah, all yeah. I can tell you about that movie, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. So do you have uh, any anything upcoming that we should we could talk about that maybe we don't know about yet or something you want to let us know? Uh, nothing I can tell you, let you know, but hopefully keep your eyes open next year. Some cool stuff coming up. Yeah. All right, All right man. Sounds good. Well, thanks a lot for your time, man. We appreciate it. All right. Good to meet you all.